Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're doing the thing. We're playing Dredge in Popper. So we only have one Dredge card as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's just the Stinkweed Imp, but it says Dredge 5. Whenever it deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. So our deck is built around playing a bunch of creatures that mill, Fire Triton, Blanchard Prowler, Seder Wayfinder, and then Stinkweed Imp to Dredge. We also have Dre Scrap Work Mutt to pitch things from our hand. And then we're going to be putting a bunch of creatures onto the battlefield with the flashback cost of Acorn Harvest. And then using Dread Return, which was a recent downshift, to return Lotlet Giant to the battlefield and dome our opponent. So it's not really a combo deck as far as I can see. It's more of like a plotting mid rangey combo. But because we're mid rangey, we have four Knot of the Bone in the main deck, gaining two life for each creature card in your graveyard which means that we are probably going to live a long time. So the deck is built around having the mana bases Forests and Swamps with the dual lands of Haunted Mire, and then two of the red lands with Wood Ridge Line, Geothermal Bog, that you can get off of Troll or Generascent by cycling. And then in the sideboard, there's a couple of red cards with Ancient Grudge and Flaring Pain. This deck... Um, a lot of people have worked on versions of this in the past, but the first time that this actually did well was from Medvedev in a challenge, Popper challenge. Um, so I think this is exactly that list. I'm not sure. Uh, Kerblinksy actually took it into a league. Um, I will link that in the description below. Make sure you check out Kerblinksy. And they were able to do very well with it. So I copied the list that they had posted because I was easy to find. <laughs> All right. So uh, before we keep moving on, don't forget to check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash kellykais. I have sideboard guides for all the decks that I like to play and lots of primers and stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And then you get notified whenever I play a cool uh, deck like this. And if you're playing in paper, I will also link below. Dragon Master Games has a 2K in Binghamton, New York. It's going to have a cap of around 100 players, so make sure you get invested, sign up early, and I will potentially see you there. All right, let's get into the matches. We're here in round one versus whoops. I don't know what to do, so I'm keeping. <laughs> Good luck of fun. They are on fairies. So we could try to dread return the generous end. That would probably shut them down pretty well. Probably just going to go tap land into Prowler. So I lead on the Haunted Mire past the turn. Let's see if they're mono blue fairies or something else. Preordain for the opponent. So Prowler says if you don't put a land card from among the milled cards into your hand, you get to make it a 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two is kind of mediocre, but against fairies, especially if it's mono blue, we can trade with their ninjas, so that might be useful. Given the lands, I'm going to suggest that it's probably mono blue. Let's play Branchward Prowler. Um, want these lands? I'm going to say no. Make it a 2 2. Actually, in one turn, we can just hard cast Dread Return on the Generascent. They're going to get in. No fairy. Okay, play this bridge line. I'm going to attack you. And then pass the turn. I'm going to pass so that I can actually cycle my two creatures, the Troll and the Generscent, getting a Swamp so I can Dread Return. Okay, they get in. We're at 17. They play Brainstorm. Brainstorm's usually seen in blue-black fairies over mono-blue fairies. Okay, blue-black. Cycle. They'd have to have Counterspell here. Grab a Swamp. Let's cycle again. Then we have our colors, so grab a forest. Play this land. Attempt to dread return the generous end. See if they have a counter spell. They do. Okay. Swing two. You're at 16. So in two turns, we can cast the troll. They get in. Lot with giant. I don't think it's worth playing the Seder White Wayfinder into a spell source, right? And I'm winning the race right now with the 2-2, so I'm keep attacking. Thank you. Next turn, we have Troll of Khazadum. 
They hard cast a snuff out on my 2-2. Okay. Um, should I play my 6-5? No, I can't. I don't have the mana. This troll. <laughs> I have two 6-5s. My bad. <laughs> they have counterspell again. Okay. That makes things harder for me. And for one, we're at 14. Okay. Um, so we can gnaw to the bone. I think I'm going to play the Wayfinder. Try to find a land. I'm expecting spell setter sprite. Let's see if they have double sprite. If I find a land, I can play the Lawless Giant next turn. They don't have spell setter sprite number two. Uh, I'll get a swamp. That's what we don't have as much of. Land. We can actually scrap work mutt and discard the giant. Or just hard cast not of the bone. Let's gain some life. <laughs> that's a lot of life, that's for sure. Okay. I think I want to just try slamming the giants. It's eight damage per one that resolves. Uh, we have the dread return in the graveyard, so if we can get creatures back, we can just use it. This use one in a red to unearth. Okay. Let's see if they ninja. Okay, they have a ninja of the deep hours. So that means they have spell starter sprite on on deck. They can't snuff out my lot with giant. It's gonna deal him eight damage. Cycles Lorien revealed. Okay. An island. They're holding on spell starter sprite still. Um all right, here's a giant. Counter spell. Man. All right, so the plan is to block the ninja with the Seder Wayfinder. Bajugabog! Uncool. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> okay, block. Uh, okay, I'm going to play my 6-5. Go to 14 or 13. Not the greatest. That singleton Bajugabog in the main deck. Pretty solid for them. They have a Maestro's Theater. So the only counter spell they seem to have in hand is their Spellster Sprite. They can't snuff out my giant. They have to have... Okay, Generous End is solid. So we're just slamming fatties. Here's a giant creature. Okay, attack you. This is kind of funny. This is more fun than I thought it was going to be. I do like putting fatties on the table. You're at 8. They're going to kill my Generous End. Okay. So they get to draw a card here. Hmm, <clears throat> darn. That Seder Wayfinder is still not really doing anything for me. There's a Fairy Seer. I'm going to try to resolve this troll and then see if it resolves. And if it does, I can move along. Okay, let's see. Battlefield. Hmm. Play this Troll of Kazadoom. Okay. Back for six. So if they take it next turn, I. If they have like an edict here, I will sacrifice the Lotlith Giant because the troll has this super menace. Okay, Thorn of the Black Rose. If I attack with both my creatures, everything they have dies. Because they have to triple block the troll and then block the other thing. They draw a card from Monarch. Growler. I think I just attack out. And so they could like... I guess I'm going to be left with one creature no matter what, because the Thorn has Death Touch, but they can't deal five to the other creatures. They have to triple block the troll, so they probably just shove the Thorn and two things under in front of the troll, and then the other thing in front of the Lotwolf Giant. They could have Cast Down, though. The troll is making it hard for them. Okay. Shoves everything in front. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to plan on... Agony Warp, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, actually not that good, huh? So I can play my Seder Wayfinder. They have the spells that are sprite. And I'll play my Blanche Branchwood Plowler. Blanchwood Prowler? Grabbing a nothing. Okay. Grabbing a nothing. In my two one. Nothing to discard. I have two two power creatures. Each of them is lethal. They can't attack me. I can attack them back right now, and then I can unearth my scrapwork mutt. Darn. So they whiff on the Oligar of Bolas, but they have a blocker now. Come on. Think we dimp. Okay. Actually, I. Hmm. Maybe 
So the question is, do I want to discard the imp and dredge? I think so. Let's send out. Let's swing out with the team. Or I can just hard cast the Stinkweed Imp, but I feel like that's going to get um, Spell Suttered. Although now they only have a Spell Sutter for two, two mana. And a double block. Oh, okay. Thing. So one Fairy dies. Augur Bull is still around. Um, let's just unearth this and... Hmm. Actually, I can cast the Stinkweed Imp. I unearth this right now, I can't attack with it. I'm going to play the Stinkweed Imp. That doesn't work. So you have another one? Okay. Let's gain three life. That's the turn. They're surviving with their Monarch, basically. Just spell centering me out. They're going to cast the Lorien Revealed here, it looks like. Our four cards is pretty strong. Well, I definitely want to dredge the Stinkweed Imp on my turn, because then I can discard it to the Mutt and be closer to maybe finding our stuff to uh, be able to get the Lotless Giant back. We found a Dread Return. Okay, so a Acorn Harvest. No Counterspell. A Scrapwork Mutt. I cast down my Prowler. Okay. We're going to discard the Stinkweed Imp. And then return a Stinkweed Imp. Then... Red return on Lotlith Giant. Get there? Yeah. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. Say GG's. It was only game one. <laughs> okay, so is there anything that we care about from them? I don't think so. We have literally nothing to bring in. Ancient Grudge, maybe. Does Ancient Grudge matter? I guess it's possible. Well, let's trim on the knot of the bone and submit. There's a possibility that they'll have a relic, but I don't think it's that high. All right, we have a hand with lands and spells, I guess. We have no one drops in the deck. So really, you're looking to make a tap land first one turn. All right. Uh, okay. Play the swamp, pass the turn. So now our plan is to cycle for a tap land on turn two. A brainstorm. I think I'd probably just cycle for the red black land and then play out I could play out the Seder White Finder, discarding or the scrapwork mutt discarding a land. Two one is pretty good. Could also discard the lot of the giant. Anyway, we're gonna cycle here. Maybe the point is to discard the giant just so I can get it back. Get this geothermal bog, a red land. Off return, red return. Okay, so now I guess I want to discard the giant and grab work mutt, and then we'll discard the lot of the giant. Draw for turn. Okay, we can play geothermal bog on this coming turn, and then scrap work mutt away a swamp relic. All right, we'll play this, but discard this swamp, attack for two. Now they're going to get rid of my swamp here. Opponent is going to tap for mana, cycles the Lorien revealed. I mean, we're slowly making land drops regardless. It's Bajukabog. Okay. We have five land drops already. Let's attack for four. Kind of funny how it just pressures them into dealing with the graveyard by playing Relic, but we don't even care that much, I guess, right now. They're the Seder Wayfinder. And then gonna do pass down okay probably okay they're gonna exile my mud okay wayfinder i will take the add land then go land and uh play the acorn harvest if they tap out we can um dread return back like generous enter troll a lot of the giant is six just a six five so it's not that great Plays a ninja of the deep powers. Okay. I'm going to play Dread Return targeting Law of the Giant. See what they do. Can I have a 6 5? No. Okay. So now I can swing with the Mutt, cycle the troll. Okay. 
attack you. Take it. Cycle this troll. Hitting a tap land, an untapped land, so I can hard cast a generous end. And then dread return the troll. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Okie dokie, I have a 6-5 now. And it's going to cast down the troll. Inner's Edict, we sacrifice the Wayfinder. Inner's Edict again. Okay, sacrifice the troll. Get in for two. Let's see what we draw. If snuff out, they can deal with the end, which is annoying. Plays a Fairy Seer. Or hopefully they don't have any more snuff outs. And, and play this generous end. Okay, that resolved, and they didn't kill it on their on my end step, so they probably don't have snuff out in hand. I could definitely see them having some number of uh, spell setter sprites, though. Play a fell fairy seer, three cards in hand. If they attack out, I'm gonna block the ninja rather than the fairy seer just to stop them from drawing an extra card. If they do attack out, it kind of indicates that they have a ninja though. Relic, are you going to crack the relic? Let's grab work mutt then. Gonna allow it, okay. Discard the Haunted Mire. Draw Stinkweed Imp. Let's see if they have... I guess I should attack first. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna take the two. Let's cast a Stinkweed Imp. Get that big old blocker on. Okay, they're gonna exile my Haunted Mire. Fine. Just resolve. You have a Spell Slayer Sprite. I have the spell slayer sprite. Okay. Maybe I should have played the prowler first. I don't know. Blood goes away. So on my upkeep, or we are gonna dredge back the stinkweed imp. They probably should crack the relic right now, really. They're preordaining. Found the snuff out. They play Thorn of the Black Rose. Okay, that's not a snuff out. Uh we are gonna get rid of the Seder Wayfinder. Hopefully we can dredge. Get this into my hand. Grudge some ancient grudges. An ancient grudge this. Bam. Play Prowler. We're looking for a way to get a dread return. No dread return. Okay. Cast my Stinkweed Imp. Pass the turn. Can't do anything about my Imp, so I'm just going to keep attacking them. Try to take the Monarchy. Play Augur of Boltless. Revealing a counterspell. So they could counterspell my generous hand now. Okay. They draw for Monarch. We'll dredge the Stinkweed Imp. Look at that. That was good. Uh, attack you. Then one. <laughs> really a power play. Block two creatures. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Right? So the Stinkweed Imp dies. It has effectively Death Touch, but... It's like a trigger instead of being death touch. The stinkweed up again. Okay, pass the turn. I'm gonna draw for monarchy. Ooh. Uh, okay, so they play a Demir Aqueduct picking up their Bajuka Bog. I'm gonna need something good here. Draw or gain three life, my bad. I thought that was a clue token for a second. Dredge the imp. I'm gonna scrap work mutt. So we can scrap work mutt. And then discard the imp and pick it back up. Dredge. Find Dread Return. I know they have Bajuka Bog, right? And they have Counterspell for the Dread Return. But it's not going to get better. Hmm. Guess I scrap work mud again. Discarding Stinkweed Imp. Return it. Find the Acorn Harvest. Okay. Do that. This is a four drop, so they have to use counter spell if they want to counter it. Okay, now I'm going to attack with my Stinkweed Imp. Maybe I shouldn't. I still have one in hand. They're going to put it into the graveyard. Oh, we have only nine nine cards left in our graveyard. We're gonna die. I'm gonna die to mill. Okay, I didn't think that one through. I'm gonna mill myself out. <laughs> okay, uh, Dread Return, Fall of the Giant. We have the counter spell. Okay, I think I'm gonna concede. Uh, I did not. That didn't go well. So now the bone seems not worth it. Grudges maybe. We got really hosed by them having all that counter magic along with the bajuka bogs. Find a grudge. 
the dread return. I guess I keep land, get a forest, play the Meyer Triton, play the Blanchwood Prowler, just trying to get a, a land. And it's a turn. Play Relic Me. They Relic Me, I probably cycle for the red green land. Let's cycle here. A regular forest. Get my Blanchwood Prowler into the battlefield. I had to throw some creatures down fast to get the generous end out. Put the prowler down. And we mill nothing. We don't get any lands, I mean. That's not great. Mm. Okay, let's play your Wayfinder. Trying to find a land. Take the swamp. Swamp. Turn. Can't believe I decked out. <laughs> Rough. Okay, now they have a snuff out. Counter spell in hand. Cycle this generous ent. Playing the bridge line. That. Play the Meyer Triton. I have a 2 1 Death Toucher. Gain some life. I mill two cards. I have Dread Return. Okay. Back. So I think my plan is to hard cast Dread Return, get it, and that'll get countered. Then I can Dread Return. Hmm. But they might have a, an Edict. They edict away my 1-1. One, one. Okay. Passes the turn. Alright, let's go Scrapwork Mutt. Discard the Stinkweed Imp. Then Dredge. Cast Acorn Harvest. Attack you. And my plan is just like pressure the pressure pressure and then not deck out. Definitely don't want to deck out here. If they have Bog or Relic, it's a big problem at the moment. They have Augur of Volus, though, revealing Arms of Hadar. Okay. So, I think we might be close to winning. Swing out. I think we win this turn, actually. Wow. Okay. Take some damage. Cycle for a Swamp. Play the Swamp. Red Return, the Giant. From hand. They have to. They have to use counterspell. If they don't, they just do it again. Or if they don't use counterspell, they're just dead. Okay, GG's. Woohoo! We win the game on round two. All right, round two. Keep this. We have our turn one uh, tap land, but um, I think we're probably going to lose the match. Uh, Charles has been on cycle storm. We're going to have to run pretty hot here. So we probably try to Prowler or play out the Mire Triton. Mill 2. Got Acorn Harvest and Wayfinder. I think I probably cycle for Swamp, play the Swamp, and then play one of the things to try to find a land. Prowler mills 3 cards, and Seder Wayfinder does 4. So I want to get the Seder Wayfinder onto the battlefield. Trying to find an untapped land. I can dread return. Later Wayfinder. No lands, darn. I'm gonna send two. We have five creature cards in the graveyard. So I I think I have to play the Branchwood Prowler, trying to find an untapped forest, so that I can then acorn harvest, then swing out and dread return and try to win the game. I need two more turns though. Our opponent only has this is turn three for them. They only have two creatures in the graveyard. So it's possible that they don't win on their next turn. Not that likely, though. Okay, so we have a swamp. What does that do for us? I think I prowler. Hmm. Swing out. Oh, I can dread return the troll for damage. And then roll here. Because this is six power. Then the next turn, I can um, Acorn Harvest, I mean Prowler after, and then Dread Return my Giant, and that should be lethal. So they, they're forced into actually winning on their turn, although it's certainly possible that they can. Okay, we'll just watch them cycle away. Deadly Dispute their land. Nine cards in hand, eight cards in hand. Deadly Disputes away another land, so they have two treasure tokens available. Now we have six, seven, eight, nine, and we can... I guess we probably want to sacrifice all of our creatures that are in play in order to get back the Law of the Giant to make the damage more. 
cycle cycle lotus petal lotus petal so now they if they have songs into reaping we're probably dead difficult to uh coordinate watch like i mean uh, it's difficult to just continue to narrate through this i don't know if it's boring for you let me know if you find it boring deadly dispute the dispute again digging for songs of the damned I guess if they missed songs of the damned and we could win here so post board we have four rotten reunion and the rotten reunions can take out their pingers so then we can maybe win that way they have the songs of the damned for six mana cycles they've got no street race in the graveyard they're almost halfway through their deck cycle again that's eight creatures in the graveyard okay plays ardent elementalist to get back songs of the damned so now they can make 10 mana or eight mana eight mana has to have reap in the graves now seems unlikely that they don't have it they cycle petal cycle again cycling a draneth healer street wraith going to 13 teachings so now they can teachings for songs of the damned songs of the damned and then teachings again but they don't have that much mana after they just have the reaping the graves uh the odds of them whiffing are pretty low they've got one two songs of the damned going to teachings for songs right now cycle uh street wraith oh they messed up uh, targeting maybe they bring everything back okay i guess they are going to try to win from here is that the stinger street race at the earliest opportunity in which i can concede i will concede when it seems like it's definite still not specifically definite they have three songs of the damned in the graveyard ritual they're cycling away not going to comment when they're just cycling so we can kind of get past it. We have Dark Ritual. Played a Cabal Ritual. 12 mana available. One song's less in the graveyard. Or in the, the deck. I mean, the deck that we're playing just completely folds to this kind of stuff, so it's not a surprise. We have 7 mana available. We're at 9 life. So if they can get more mana than I have life, I'll have to concede, I think. Street Wraith, so now they only need a little bit more mana. Alright. Finally. We get to, we get to scoop. <laughs> Alright, uh, get rid of these gnaws. Into all the rotten reunions. Just run it back. We're looking for fast dredging, I guess. Scrapwork Mutt plus Stink... Like, if we had land, land, Scrapwork Mutt, Stinkweed in hand, I think I would feel pretty good. Then we can... Get our creatures in the battlefield into the graveyard fast with some attacks and then try to giant them asap i'd like to play first we have the mutt we have giant i'm gonna keep play the haunted mire My opponent's mulliganing to six okay haunted mire go is a tap land we find the acorn harvest let's mutt and we want to discard i still think it's the giant for the top possible plays we found his red return so now i cycle for an untapped land and then play wayfinder looking for a land on the stinky imp that's very good i go for um a forest doesn't really matter play wayfinder this okay an attack i can actually scrap work mutt and attack with everything and then end of turn, red return, bringing back the Lotlo the Giant for six damage. Another at 14. That'd be enough. Probably not. I would put them to nine. And then I can. Yeah, that's not enough. Maybe if I scrap work mutt away the Stinkweed Imp, I can hit a dread return. Wait, let me think about this. Might be enough. But I can cycle the troll as well. But then the law of the giant's gonna come out of the graveyard. They're just going for it on turn three. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I thought I was gonna have some fun <laughs> and do a thing. 
job. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Dark Ritual. The uh, Cycle Storm deck is pretty strong. It's hard to sideboard though, and hard to definitely hard to pilot it and see what you want to do. They're reaping the Gravesing. So if they pass, and I mean, we could definitely kill them on our turn four. But, you know, they have to somehow whiff. They feel pretty confident, it seems. They're at 12. Now we're, we definitely would kill them with our Dread Return on the Giant. Cycling away. Three mana available. Cycle. Lotus Petal. That's not of the bone to go to 28. Okay. Uh, I think I still... Hmm. Hmm. Put away... I don't have the red. Okay, never mind. That changes everything. I have to cycle this for the red land. And then play the Mire Triton. Attack. We are going to have Stinkweed Imp on our turn, so that's great. We can return Stinkweed Imp. See if they can kill us this turn. We may be able to kill them. We are going to dredge the Stinkweed Imp. Find Dread Return, Rotten Reunion. One Lot Left Giant in the graveyard. So let's go shoot Crap Work Mutt. If I discard discard the Stinkweed Imp. It's two, four, six. Stinkweed Imp will put more creatures in the graveyard. I already have the Dread Return I can cast for free. Okay, Stinkweed Imp. Turn it. Then back. Sting. Six. We have 12 creatures in the graveyard, 2, 4, 6, 7 damage, then 12, 13, 14, 15 in the graveyard, 14, not enough damage. Okay, let's attack, right, they're at 18, go acorn harvest from the hmm. reaping, songs, I'm just going to dread return the giant now, this one, this one, and this one. So they're going to take 13 damage. What? Cycles Adranus Stinger. Five. So then I have Rotten Reunion in the graveyard. And I can Rotten Reunion the Knot of the Bone if it looks like they're going to have green mana. Cycles of Vantasaur. Land, Lotus Petal. It's Rotten Reunion the Knot of the Bone. Okay, they have three cards in hand. They win. It's Storm 3. From four, go Jings for songs. Okay, fine. Never stood a chance, man. Now they can teachings for reaping. They'll have nine mana available. Yes, and they're reaping. Zero cards in hand. So they're just cycling into stuff to see if they can actually make it work. It's gonna they're not gonna be able to cycle all of their street race that are in the deck. Okay, they're going to three and then to one. Have eight mana available. Cycle six mana or seven mana. Six mana. We're just hoping that they do not find a uh elementalist and they don't find songs of the damned. Four mana available. Cycles, they have five cards in hand. Down to two mana. One mana left. You have it. Cycle, zero mana available. If you used two loose pedals so far, so they could pedal here. Pedal. Is it a Songs of the Damned? Yep. Yes, it is. Got Songs of the Damned for 13 mana. Now they can cycle the rest of their cards and then probably win the game. I'll just be over here coloring in my coloring book, waiting for the turn to end. A lotus petal after cycling some more. Keeping the graves. Alright. Cycling and stuff. Or one life. Used petal. One, two, three petals. All four petals are out. One. Only one uh, deadly dispute. They have two mana available. Cycling, they have one mana available. One songs, two songs. No mana available. Three songs are out. So if Songs is like the last card in their deck, then we could win here. Cycles. The last card that they can use right now 
We have Dark Ritual. Okay, so I have three more looks. I have to get just lucky. Two more looks. Deadly Dispute. Okay. Songs of the Damned. But they only have... How many Deadly Disputes they have left? One. Two. One, two. They can make two red mana. Cycle. That was the last Songs of the Damned. It's possible that they can't win here. I don't know if they'll be able to make enough mana. Deadly Dispute. They have one red mana available. Dark Ritual. 16 cards in hand. Play is the Stinger. Yep. Hmm. Pickles. Now they're going to try to... They have 14 mana available. They have no red mana. They can't make any more red mana. They can't deal me 14 damage. We win. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Crazy. Can't believe it. Okay. Uh, try again. So in reality, we want to use the Rotten Reunion to take out their Stingers, if we can. If they have zero Stingers in the deck, it's pretty unlikely that they'll be able to beat us. But with them being on the play, they're probably going to win this time. We have no second land. I'm going to Mulligan. have Rotten Reunion, Meyer Triton. Let's keep this. Acorn Harvest is something we could discard. Maybe we just... I don't like the Acorn Harvest that much. I'm going to play my tap land, play the Meyer Triton in turn two, turn three cycle the Generous Ent, the red land. Want did Meyer go? And it cycles. So the other thing that they're up against right now is the clock. We're at eight minutes and 40 seconds to finish the game. Not fine land two. Okay, Meyer Triton. What do we mill? Lut and Prowler, that's pretty good. Hmm. We do have to get our red land though. Cycle here. The ridge line. Play that. Six. I'm going to attack. And then I think maybe it's a good idea to take out the street wraith. Our end step. Cycle of Vantasaur. Because if I can take out the street wraith, it, it limits them on mana a little bit. And I can ping in for one. Rotten Reunion, your street wraith. If they allow it. They have a fairy macabre to get rid of my rotten reunion and scrap work mud. Right, so let's play my own a scrap work mud again. Discarding my haunted mire. Find a lot of the giant. Pass. Attack you. So our thing dies. They go to 12. We need a way to get rid of this mutt right now. We have no like mill stuff. One, four, five. I probably just cycle the troll here. Try to find another, uh, like, to thin my deck of lands. Cycle the troll. Grabbing a tap land, I guess. Their red tap land. Hog. Swing out. Take it. Let's try to dread return the troll. Six power on the table. It also, that's gonna work. Okay. So we're threatening lethal. What do you got? Cycle of Street Wraith here. Threat six life. Macabre away my dread return. Deadly dispute. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let them run with it. I, it's not like I'm trying to time you out, my man. Cycling away. Guardian Carabid, Stinger. Play the songs. If I don't concede, then it adds to the tension. I have six minutes. It should be able to complete in six minutes. There's a stinger. Okay. Songs. Two cards in hand. Arm is five. Reaping the graves. So the pings are beginning. Hanging away. Let's fall over. They are at six life. Now they can play another stinger. And probably win. Okay. So they only have to cycle 11 times now. They have 16 mana. So it seems very likely that they'll be able to get there. They can't do it. Got this troll ready to beat in. I mean, having that much mana though, it seems uh, like they got it done. Deadly dispute their land. Cycling more. They only need four more cyclers. Deadly dispute the treasure token. Dark ritual, songs. They have reaping, I concede. Round three versus bite. Bite. Besu de. I don't know. 
All right. I have the Stingweed Imp. I'm going to keep this. All right, we're going to go Swamp. I said Island. I always say Island Go. Ah, oh, man. And I have to cycle for a green source. Okay, we found the green anyway. Play the Prowler. Get nothing. Not of the Bone Troll Triton. Wonder if I should play out the Stinkweed Imp this turn? Probably. Unless I don't have any way to get it into the graveyard otherwise. Play my Imp. Yeah, I'll send a message. He blocks. That was pretty expected. And I'm pretty sure he's on fairies. Preordain. So we it's the same as the first round where they've got the random Bajuka Bog in the main deck. Probably digging for that. Nothing. Okay. Play this Wayfinder. And I'm looking for, I guess, a red land. Color Triton. Take the untapped land. And I'm going to cycle this one. Grabbing my red land. Do that. Swing, I guess. So let's see if I can, like, try to dread return back roll. But then I'm losing on, like, it's a problem if I get wrecked by Chainer's Edict or something. The Tithing Blade. There's the Fairy Seer. So we know they're on fairies. Let's go Hanemeyer, Red Return, my troll. You know what? I forgot I was hard casting this. Makes a big difference. Boink. Troll of Casa Doom. That's the turn. Attacking. I want to block your Fairy Seer. I mean, I could have sacked my creatures with the dread return to get back another troll and just go full on troll beatdown. I'm a little bit concerned about the potential for them having a uh bug or like spell pierce at that point. Brainstorm. Okay. Four mana. Not gonna do anything. Hmm. Seven mana now. Go land. Attack you. My troll. Pass down on the troll. Play another troll. Counterspell? No. No counterspell. Okay. Neat. Pass down on my other troll. No! <laughs> okay. Block. Did I forget it was flying? I think so. Maybe they're going to give it... Uh, okay. That's fine. Kind of fine, I think. Go we'll bring it back. Play the scrap work mutt. A discard. Discard the law of the giant. Another scrapwork mutt. Play the stinkweed imp. Wait. Yeah. Just with the okay. Stinkweed imp. To dread return the giant. Okay. No mew for twelve. Nice. So we could get hit with a edict here. They're gonna cast the monarch. Okay. We can go Mutt, Discard, Knot of the Bone. We're going to be dredging a bunch with the Stinkweed Imp, so it's likely that we could Dread Return again. Ninja. Okay. With Monarch. We're going to dredge. This is kind of fun. Let's go Prepwork Mutt. I'm going to discard the Stinkweed Imp. Too bad I can't Giant my Giant. I have to sec part of it. I'm going to dredge, acorn harvest, I guess I acorn harvest here, Yep. and attack you. So they have to just chump with the auger of bolus or I get it back and they die. Neat. And then I can dread return my troll, troll return, troll comes back. I can just scrap work mud again. Is that worth it? I could scrap work mud the stink we did right now. Maybe I don't. I'm gonna be dredging a ton next turn. We have one dread return in the in the graveyard. I've used two. Cycle of Lorien revealed. Six mana available. Fairy Seer. Okay. It's top bottom. So they're gonna draw one of their cards for a turn off the monarch. We'll dredge the imp. And I'm gonna go Rapwork Mutt. Red black. Discarding my imp. I have Dread Return for the giant to kill them right now, but they could have Counterspell. Only 18 cards left. I'm going to dredge again. 
Corn Harvest. So I'm going to work on sending all my creatures into the red zone. Oh, yeah. Hopefully their Fairy Seers die. They snuff out. Okay. Spells that are Sprite. So now they want to kill. All their creatures are going to die. Huh. Okay. So they're going to Death Touch away the roll of Cause of Doom. Okay. Then I can just Acorn Harvest, maybe? Or cast a Stinkweed Imp? Cast a Stinkweed Imp? Or spell. Okay, so they're gonna probably have a way to Edict away my Giant, and then I just go Imp, Corn Harvest, kill you. I draw three cards with Lorien revealed. Four cards in hand. Painter's Edict, okay. That was pretty expected. So, my turn. Dredge this thing. And we're going to bring back the Mutt. Guarding this. Dredging some more. Just dredging like crazy. Uh, we got to Acorn Harvest. Then Dread Return on the Giant. Doot, doot. You die. Playing around Spell Pierce. <laughs> nice. The slowest combo deck of all time. <laughs> uh, get rid of the Knot of the Bones, add in all the Artifact Hate, just for their Relics. Not sure that we need the Knot of the Bones. Like, they really didn't have the clock on us. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. Got Grudge. Get the Red Land. Seems fine. Start jamming Stinkweed Imps. Just think having a uh, Flying Death Toucher is pretty good against Fairies. Play a tap land. I go Womp. Pass the turn. All right, our opponent plays a Relic. We're going to cycle this guy, grabbing the red land. And they will be able to Relic away my troll. I should be able to kill their Relic with the Grudge. A couple of turns. We have two Grudges anyway. Pass. And Grudge your Relic. I have a plan to get the relics off the table. The double spell pierce. And okay, they're going to use the relic. Draw a card. Pass again. So here we can cycle the generous ent, but we're pretty close to casting it. One of the black rows. I'm going to draw a card. Yeah, we're just going to work to hard cast some stuff. Pass the turn. So the next turn we're going to play Imp again, and here I'm going to attack, try to take the Monarchy. I shouldn't F6. Definitely not going to block. Okay. Don't Ninja. Surprise. Okay. Draw. We're going to attack you. Can't use a Snuff Out, you have to have a Cast Down. Cast Down my thing. Right. Go. Wrap work mutt. I'm going to discard the ancient grudge. Grudge my imp. Cast my imp. Counter spell on the stinkweed imp. So if they have a relic here, I'm pretty hosed. And if for an auger of bolus, they don't they can't find a relic with that. Reordain. In dread return, get back the giant. Or just hard cast a generator. Reordaining. We can dread return off of the acorn harvest. Gonna dredge. Not worried about it. So I have enough mana. Acorn harvest. Cast a stinkweed imp. Should I try to dredge return right now? I feel like they're gonna have a counter spell. I'm gonna try it. They're probably gonna have a counter spell. They're a little bit worried about pyroblast, but I didn't have it. That's the turn. We lost some of our good stuff, but we can mutt discarding the imp. What are you going to do? It's in for one. I've used two counter spells so far. There's a ninja. Hardcast Augur of Bolus. Killing a brainstorm. Ugh. Okay. This is, is an easy deck to play around. Try to play a Jenner Scent. I think we're. I feel like I'm going to lose because of the thorn and the snuff outs. I'm going to go the next game. Try again. Not. The hard part is I don't actually know where I went wrong there. Maybe somebody else knows. 
Okay, we would like to play first. I think we just need to try to get onto the battlefield and start jamming. Play the bog first. Keep this hand. Point of mulligans to six. That is good for me, obviously. Five. Wow. Looking for that bajuka bog, I guess. That's the turn. Island go for the opponent. Oh, they have a preordain. Never mind. Never mind. Go top top. And a lot with giant. We're going to pass until their next end step. We're going to cycle the troll. Grabbing a tap land. Play out Wayfinder, I think. Try to find another land. Then I can hard cast Acorn Harvest. Cycle here for the tap land. Land the Wayfinder. Finding a land. It was tapped though, not an untapped. If acorn harvest, oops, yeah, I want that in my hand. Ew. So now we can actually uh, dread return the troll here. Or we can dread return the lava giant. I feel like putting the troll of cause of doom on the table is better. Hmm. They want to get that going. They can have an edict though, which I don't like. Uh, let's go acorn harvest. Dread return. Back the troll of cause of doom. Sack, sack, sack. I'll play my ridge line. Pass the turn. So they have to have an edict. Play murmuring mystic. Okay, that's going to give them a lot of blockers, that's for sure. Find an untapped land. Back you for six. Now I can scrap work mud away the troll. Shouldn't do that. I should have done that earlier if I was going to do that. Ugh. Play Acorn Harvest, I guess. It's a turn. Okay, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna cycle the Cause of Doom and then Dread Return it. They're attacking for one. That means they probably have a ninja. Here's a ninja. Oh, a lifelinker. No draw. Weird in. Taking a bird. Relic. I can get rid of my Wayfinder. Cycle the troll. Hmm. I don't really want to cycle the troll. Okay, I guess I will. Cycle this troll. They can crack the relic right now. Swamp. Want to crack? Land. Play the acorn harvest. Oh. Forgot I had this ancient grudge. <laughs> um. Play the scrap work mutt. And then. Ancient Grudge this, and I can put the Lalith Giant in the graveyard. Let's just mutt away the land. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can discard the land, I guess. We're, hard, we're close to hard casting the Lalith Giant. Then I can attempt to grudge the relic. Attack the relic. Attack you for six. Okay. My mutt dies. I think I have to try to kill the Ambusher. Four mana. Play another Murmuring Mystic. Wow. That's pretty bad for me. But they're at 11. So if I can find a Dredger, Fire Triton might be where I want to be. This turn I can... Well, I want to double block the Ambusher with the Squirrels. Hmm. Get in. Double block. For that Ninja. Yeah. Should I triple block? I'm triple blocking in case they have a snuff out. Stinkweed Imp is decent, right? First steps, first attack for six. They put the birds in front. Okay. I think I'm going to cycle the generous ent for an untapped forest. Play the forest. Play dread return on the ent. Yep. Now I have a five seven. And then I'm going to play out my Meyer Triton. Seder Wayfinder in the graveyard. Okay. Turn. So I have Ancient Grudge. So we have a Relic covered. One creature card in the graveyard. The Augur of Bolas. And a Lorien Revealed. I can attack with everything other than Squirrel. Everything can be good. Swing out except the Squirrel. But yeah. And in the team. They can Death Touch kill the Generous Ent. They're going to snuff out the end. They go to 10. 
by putting creatures in front of the troll, playing the auger bolus. Okay. Go ahead and cast giant. Deal you four damage. Okay, Lauren revealed here, making more birds. Dukabog on for me. Darn. I think I'm gonna play out the Stinkweed Imp this turn. Let's see what happens. We're just obviously going to attack. We've got the monarchy. Attack for six. It's a Stinkweed Imp. Life. It's a turn. I think their Murmuring Mystics are gonna stabilize them. Rainstorms. Murmuring Mystic. Too strong. They cast Fairy Seer. I mean, we've got the lot with Giant, but nothing really to do. I want to keep attacking with our Stinkweed Imp. Oh yeah, end in the team. Imp go. Block with a bird. Two birds. Okay, Imp is dead now. Now we can start dredging again. This Meyer Triton. Spell Sitter Sprite. Should have seen that coming. I should have attacked with my giant. What was I doing? <sighs> Falling apart over here. We have another ninja. Draw on their end step. They're at seven cards in hand. Dredge our thing. Scrap work mutt. Unearth. And discard. Sneak weed up and bring it back. For the ancient grudge. Bring back an imp, I guess. It's an imp. This is like brutal. Very brutal. Spell setter, spell setter. What am I going to do? I'm going to concede. Go to the next round. Okay, round uh, four. Versus... This player likes to play good decks. I'm gonna keep this one. Got the dread return. And pass. See what they're up to. I think we take the Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Cycle. Grab. So I'm getting this. I feel like they're on Ponza. Red. Utopia Sprawl. Not great. Forest, and Rapport Mutt, discard the Acorn Harvest, finding a troll, okay, that's the turn. Next turn we can cycle for Tapland or Swamp, and what they do, they don't blow up my land, so that's good for me. I'm cycle, Swamp, the Swamp, play Mire Triton, attack you. So if we can find a way to get the Lot with Giant and the Dredge Return in the graveyard, we'll be fine. We have Stink Weed Imp going. Also have Knot of the Bone. Fire Triton has Death Touch. Our opponent is Ponza. We only have 16 lands in the deck. We're going to have to keep trying to find things that get us lands. So I guess if we Stink Weed Imp too much, then we won't have any way to get lands. Boarding Party. Killing a Scred. Might scred the Mire Triton. Okay. Get in. Do I want to use the Stinkweed Imp? I think no. All right. Cycle this for the for the land. Another Mire Triton. Gain some life. And we are going to attack you. Send. Inner Scent is a 5 7, right? Yeah. Okay. So it can block pretty well. But we're trying to fill up the graveyard so that we can use the Lotleth Giant. So if they don't blow up my land this turn, I think I want to dredge the Stinkweed Imp so that I can cast Dread Return. I'm going to block the boarding party here. That thing's dead. What do you got now? Dual Thief. Okay. Please don't blow up my land. Why would you do that? All right, I'm dredging. Play a Stinkweed Imp. That's the turn. Oh, we have the Dread Return in the graveyard now. We could Dread Return like a Prowler just to get the mana. They cast the Avenging Hunter. So we can attack with the Stinkwood Imp, then take the initiative, and then uh, Dread Return the Generous Ent. Lock here. Thank you. Initiative will be mine. Okay. Pretty good. Initiative. Grabbing a swamp, play the swamp. Red return on Generous Ent. It's a turn. I've got a 5 7. My plan is to block the Avenging Hunter if possible. 
play boarding party and they find a wild growth. All right. We don't have any way of getting uh, red mana right now. I'm gonna block this one for sure. I wanna take that trample damage. We go into forge. We have not of the bone to gain a lot of life. I might have to do that. They make their boarding party ginormous. Plays an arbor elf and passes. Stinkweed imp. I'm going to attack you with my imp and make my generous ent ginormous. Forge up the generous ent. And I will play Blanch Wood Prowler for a land. That land. Okay, play the land, and then I'm going to play the Acorn Harvest for more blockers. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if we can hold on to the initiative. If we get trapped, we're dead. That's what it is. But if we don't get trapped, we're going to play Knot of the Bone and have a million billion life. We win. Yes. Stick it to the Ponza. Paste it. Okay, how do we beat Ponza? Is there anything that we care about? I guess Moments Piece? Maybe Knot of the Bone is fine. Let's just do it the way it is. Okay, we have opened up a no lander with Demulligan. Got some lands. Knot of the bone. Hmm, let's keep and then I think the giant is probably the worst card in the hand. A a land. A swamp cycle for a tap land, maybe. We draw a giant anyway, it's kind of funny. Blow up my land. Nope. Cycle. Tap land. Next turn they can have the Avenging Hunter. Bog, pattern. Maybe this hand just wasn't good enough because we didn't have a two drop. That's probably what it is. Like, if they play Avenging Hunter here, I think we just die. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to game two. Three. Game three. So I'm learning more about the deck. We have to have two drops. Everybody loves walking into an Avenging Hunter. We'll play first. Okay, we have two drops. Turn. Keep. Land. Cycle. In, uh, discard the. Imp or discard the dread return. I think you go land, get a f get the red black land, then turn to Wayfinder. Probably the best play. Anyway, we know we're playing forest. Our opponent mulligans to six. Pass the turn. Oily island or uh, forest. Wild growth. Swamp cycle. Get the land. Okay, this Wayfinder. Grabbing another land. Okay. Pull up my land. Okay. So I guess now's the time to play a tap land and attack you. They cycle a generous end. Maybe we want to mutt and discard the Stinkweed Imp and blow up my other land. Okay. Play the mutt. I'm gonna discard this imp and reg attack. So there's a dread return giant. Okay, we're getting close. If they don't blow up my land, I can knot of the bone, gain a bunch of life. Or I can play Stinkweed Imp and then dread return my giant. Okay, bring this thing back. Land. Okay, let's go. Crap work mutt. I can't do that. Did this bog. I'll attack into your thing. We have 10 creature cards in the graveyard right now. They're going to let that die. They're going to trade my 2 1. That's 11 in the graveyard. Fills my land. Okay. I guess we're hard casting Stinkweed Imps now. Find another red land I can attack. Let's see if they continue to kill my land. They're going to play their own generous end. All right. Well, we can play it Stinkweed Imp and block it. Imp. I probably should have just hmm, did not use my mana very well there. I could have unearthed the Mutt and Fire Triton. They blow up my red land again. They definitely have a Vendetta against my Scrapwork Mutts. I feel kind of sad about that. Got a 20 life. X. Let's play Wayfinder, trying to find lands. They untap their land. They're going to blow up everything. Okay. That's not very kind. We get the land. Play Meyer Triton. 
gain two life. We have 17 in the graveyard. So if I find a swamp, I can pretty pretty close. Let's stink we dimp. Oh, I, I'm not finding a swamp that way, am I? Come on. Acorn harvest. Harvest again. Attack you. Probably should have dread returned that turn. It just scoop. See, I'm I'm playing very loose, but we got there. We're two and two. Okay, we're on the play in round five, two and two, playing for the chest. And we've got turn two, Mire Triton, Acorn Harvest, etc. We have turn two plays. That's that's what I've learned to do. Keep a turn two play. I don't know what Dario X is on. Okay, they mulligan to six cards. We are gonna lead on our tap land. See what they are up to. They're on blue black something. Play some cards. Here's a two drop that dredge mills some cards. Uh, Death Touchers are pretty good against blue black error. We've shown that I'm not very good at playing against actual uh, blue black fairies though. They seem to be able to defeat me. Okay, they I'm going to just pass cycle. I think the thing that I'm doing wrong potentially is just dredging too much. Like maybe I should just be doing th like trying to draw into cards because I kept dredging and dredging and not drawing lands and then uh, one turn I decked myself. Okay, they are going to counterspell that. I'm going to attack for two. Our opponent preordains finding uh, going top bottom. There's a second, a third land, not a second land. So we have three lands. Find another land I can acorn harvest. We have double giant here. Not acorn harvest right now. Play Meyer Triton. Counterspell Preordain kind of indicates fairies. He will attack for two. We're getting some milling done, but pretty much nothing else. They grab another tap land off a of Lorien revealed. And this Lorien is probably going to grab a regular island. Yep. I wonder if they're going to cast a monarch here. They have four cards in the graveyard, so they could play a terror. They could play Murmuring Mystic. Murmuring Mystic really did hose me last game. Plays Fairy Seer. So now they can counter any of my two drops. Put a lot with Giant. That's the turn. They're going to go to 12. They're going to kill my creature. Okay. Both my creatures. Unkind. So this is extraordinarily clunky, huh? Out of the bone. Sure. We'll gain a bunch of life. Go to 37. Cycle this. And then we get the red land for the Scrapwork Mutt. Pass the turn. Scrapwork Mud is an uncounterable ability, which is nice. We can discard the Lotlith Giant. And also just discard the Acorn Harvest to put two creatures onto the battlefield. They've used one Fumes already, so it's not very likely they'll have another one. I do want to block this darn ninja. We could also try to hard cast the Acorn Harvest. Hmm. I'm going to Dread Return now. I'm going to Mutt away Acorn Harvest. Well, yeah, let that away. Draw some cards. Cycle this for an untapped land. We're going to play Acorn Harvest. Counter spell. See if they get uh, confused and try to spell Sutter Sprite this Acorn Harvest. Probably won't happen. They did not. Send. We have Spell Sutter Sprite, three unknowns. So our creature gets exiled on our end step. We have five mana available. That's Murray Mystic. So now the plan is to try to burn them out with the Dread Return. Or, I mean, the uh, Lawless Giant. We snuff out one of my creatures. So we know they have Spell Sutter. Four fives. Okay, here we go. Dread Return, Lawless Giant. Do you have the Counterspell? Okay, they go to three. We find one more land, we can burn them out. We have every single Lolith Giant in our deck is in our, our hand and stuff. Okay. Augur of Bolas finds preordain. They're preordaining here, making a bird. Getting in for one, two with the birdies. Birdies are coming in. I mean we could attack them, but then they'll get to draw a card if they get in with the ninja. Really need another untapped land. Or some way to make more creatures. Generous Ent. 
Let's cycle that, actually. Tap land, since I can't use it right now. That's the turn. They're probably like, why did he cycle that? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Because I have an 8 damage burn spell. Chainer's Edict, my giant. So now I have to hope that they don't rip a counter spell in the next card. I know they have spell slaughter sprite, so of the three unknowns in their hand, we have to have none of them be counter spell. Which they had preordained and stuff looking for it. Maybe they were just digging for that Chainer's Edict. Tap out. They don't tap out. Play the giant. Yeah, I got him. Hmm. <laughs> Dead. Okay, so we have two games to try to win. To try to figure out what we can do. Out of the Bone was not that useful. Ancient Grudges were important. And we want to play a fair game and try to stay out of the graveyard as much as possible, I guess. We know that they have things like Arms of Hadar, the Suffocating Fumes, Relic, all those things are going to be a problem. If they do get the monarchy online, it's going to be sucky. But getting through the Murmuring Mystic is also tough. Oh, that's very tough. Maybe the deck just needs Exhum. You can cycle, turn to Exhum, start attacking. That might be better than just like waiting for the Dread Returns. Maybe four Dread Return, four Exhum. And a little bit more aggressive with the milling. Okay, we're on the draw. Keep this. We have land, get a forest. We can get the dual land just for the ancient grudge. And like play turn three stinkweed. And turn. Play a tap land. It's for cycling for the red green. Draw for turn. Play land. Play fire triton. Just getting power on the table. Our, we build our other bog, our other red land. We have to play this land, play the Wayfinder. This Wayfinder. We're adding creatures to the table. Really, really dinky creatures. But okay. And we will swing out. Next turn, we could go for Dread Return on something. They can't kill our graveyard. Send. And also, next turn, just Scrapwork Mutt and discard the Imp. Or discard the Ancient Grudge. Probably better to discard the Ancient Grudge. I don't know. Brainstorm. And place another tap land. Okay. Land. Let's. Prepwork Mutt. They can't counterspell that. Okay, that resolves. We can discard and draw. I'm going to discard the Grudge here. Then. Swing out. Not going to dread return this turn. All right, they play a tap land or a land and pass. Well, they've done nothing so far. We have six mana available. They're playing Arms of Vidar to kill my stuff. Okay. This land. A stinkweed imp. It's a turn. I think I'm trying to just draw into enough lands to hard cast my Lawless Giants. Okay. Play land, play a Stinkweed Imp, I will attack. Draw another land, we can start casting Lotless Giants and we're pressuring them. We're getting to the point where maybe it'll kill them in one shot. They kill my Stinkweed Imp. Do I want to try to dredge them? I think yes. Because by dredging them away, put them back into the battlefield and keep pressuring the opponent. Oh, I can only dredge one of them though. Scrapwork Mutt. So, Mutt. Discard a Grudge. Still want to hard cast. Not going to use that. Play this Stinkweed Imp. I'm going to attack you. I really want that Seder Wayfinder to resolve so I can find another land. That goes away. They're currently at 11. Pass down on my Stinkweed Imp. Right, they get in for one, plays a ninja. Okay, ninja is gonna get in and then smack me. They draw a card. Hopefully they just tap out for no reason. Very seer. So they can spell sort of sprite my wayfinder. I think I wanna just keep stinkweed imping and so that I can potentially get uh 
the squirrelies on the battlefield. Go to this imp. This keeps coming back. This mutt. Discard Lolith Giant. Bring back the imp. For 28 cards. There's an acorn harvest. They're at 9. We have 12 cards in the graveyard. I'm going to trade the Stinkweed Imp for the Ninja. They're going to cast a, Lauren, a Murmuring Mystic here. Okay. Now if they get in, maybe I don't want to. They're brainstorming. Uh, uh, dead at this point then? They have to have a way to kill to counter the Dread Return. I don't think they will be able to, so I think we just win. Surprised, that's for sure. Will you attack? They don't attack. They have one card. Uh, Acorn Harvest? You are now dead to my gigantic duder. They have to have... Okay, they spell pierce. Sure. Kind of what I expected. Now I'm going to play my Wayfinder. If I can get another land. There's a land. Take the forest. And just play the forest and red return my Lala Giant. Doot and doot. And you're dead. Take 17. 15. I don't know. GG. <laughs> so we beat fairies two out of three times, which is pretty good. We ended up with a 3 2 record. Uh, overall, the deck was kind of entertaining. I hope that you enjoyed it. Go back to the deck. So. I mean, obviously, Rotten Reunion seems okay, but maybe not really where you want to be. I think Nile Spellbomb might be better. Or, yeah, Nile Spellbomb would probably just be better because you can play that and then you... Although Rotten Reunion works with the dredging, so maybe that's why it has to be that way. All of these things are, you know, dredgeable. So, yeah, Medvedev made a cool deck. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.